Okay, so you know that I'm doing this for you, Eric. I'm making you a terrarium again. You are my terrarium best friend, friend in the world. Ron my terrarium buddy. Friend. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a you're good my terrarium friend. buddy. And I'm thinking that I might next after that make you this other great. Oh, by the way, I'm Cindy. Dole, I'm Eric Strong. And this is Home Wizards. And right now we have some great ideas because let's say all you have is an hour. Let's say you got a bug inside you where you want to make something, and you go, "But I don't. I only have an hour. I want to do something quick, and I want to have instant relief." By the way, and wait, satisfaction. Th- by the way, this thing in one hour is this project is way more effective than Valentine's bouquet in terms well, of getting so the, your spouse terrari- to like you again. Oh, oh. are you kidding me? Did this you do makes it? people no. Oh. I just know this oh, from my gonna, years of being in this business. All right, so yeah. the terrarium is one of them. But I'm going to tell you the next thing you want to try, and I'm going to do this for you. Yeah, a simple cacti garden. Really? Really? You mean in a terrarium or just in a, a terrarium? Get out of here! Yes. And that goes outside or inside? It's going to be inside or outside. Oh, It'll probably be happier man. outside with. But but here's the deal. So basically, the idea is to to get. We always talk about getting a hurricane vase. Yeah. But for the cacti garden, it's happy in a more kind of a shallow. Well, it feels like it wants to be more exposed to the air and the. Yeah, you're almost creating like a mini landscape. Sure. So think of having almost like a dessert glass bowl yeah. that is maybe about, oh, I'm going to say three inches high. And maybe it's about, gosh, I don't know, about six inches, eight inches across. Okay. You loving that? I do. And then the Normally, key, Again, it looks like one of those old Jello concoctions. It does. Layered, you know. Or like little, if you have like the, the seven layer bean dip, yeah, well, it's kind of yeah. like that. <laughs> With a cactus right in the middle. Sounds With that, delicious. But for, hold the guacamole, hold the beans. Yeah. Instead, we're going to make layers. We're going to get rocks. Okay. Because the idea is that there, there are no holes in this glass vessel. Right. So you got it has to wick the moisture away so it doesn't rot the roots out. You know what's going on. You know I've been doing this a while. So, so the idea is you get some rocks. We yeah. love the idea of getting maybe some decorative little pebbles, maybe white. Maybe you want to go with some Oh, I don't know. It's tumbled recycled glass. Oh, you could go Pretty. Beach, beach glass beach, the color of love aqua. that. But maybe for about an inch or so, make that your first layer. Yeah. Then the next layer, you get some lava rock. And you put the lava rock there. Yeah. And the idea is so that's going to now prevent the roots from sitting in, in, in water. So it kind of drains. And it also helps like any kind of an odor that might develop because it's just sitting there. Right, 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 right. And then you put a layer of the soil. It's almost looking like it's a tiramisu at this point. Man, is it ever? You know, now but I'm getting <laughs> hungry. What's happening to me? <laughs> There's no bacon in this. I, <laughs> yeah. Did you know, by the way, that there was a bacon festival in the Los Angeles area? Are you area kidding me? And I didn't it. know? It's all bacon. Oh, anyway, so now you have, again, you have rocks, you have lava, you have your potting soil, yep. and then you top it off with one more layer. It almost looks like, a, again, like it's a dessert. Or a bean dip, and then you put more of those white or recycled glass pebbles on top. Yep. But that's that's what you're. Um, that's just the base. That's, that's not even with the cactus yet. But before, but, but whack back up, back up, boop Sorry. boop boop. Yeah, we're backing up. So now we've put the pebbles and the lava rock in, and before we've done that, we've selected our succulents, mm-hmm. and they're everywhere, right? The little baby cactus, the little cacti, they're, they're everywhere. They're reasonably priced. They yeah. are in the drug stores. I saw I mean, one and see, I was picking up a little synthroid. What I see? A cactus. <laughs> so you can get a couple of these little baby guys that are, you know, little teeny tiny ones, you know, um, and that's going to help you experiment. And so the idea is maybe you water it, I don't know, maybe once or twice a month is all. But then as you stage these little baby cacti, you're going to have a colorful, fun little decorative mini- miniature landscape. Can, I, can I ask you a question? What's that? All right. These little cacti that have the colorful oh, yeah, you talked about. head on the top of them. Right. That's, that's I, a real I, have, I swear I have one that's been there for, for like three years. Is it, right. a, is it real it, or do well, they put fake This is a real one. On it should be a real one. It's real. It's a, yeah, it's a real. Right. right. Um, but th- that, how can that they is, be? It's amazing. That, that, is one, that is one project in an afternoon. So now let's talk about so some other- So that's an hour. That's an hour. Done. Okay. How about another one? Yeah. We, ha- we have a coming. Let's say you have some little- Glass votives. Do you have little glass votives? I actually votives? do have glass votives. Okay. So now do you have maybe four of them or Here's six what of happened. Them? I, re- I resorted to drinking the wine out of them last night because we didn't have clean dishes. Well, that's that's a that's sad a, night at the Stroma. That's a, that's a well, actually it's kind of a cute idea. That's a cute, that's a cute that's right. idea. That's yeah. a portion control. That's t- <laughs> <laughs> you know. That's right. I love that. But here's yeah. an idea because now you're not going to be drinking out of it. No. You're going to give those little glass votives kind of like the antique. Aged mercury look. What are, are you, you do? with I, me? Wait, what are you doing now? You're, okay. go, you're getting into witchcraft. What no, is this? we're not. How we're do not, you do this? So this is basically the the technique is they sell these different kinds of paints in the. You look like you're in surprise. 
I just, I couldn't, I can't believe okay. you didn't create this it's, finish. Well, it's, it's really, I mean, you can buy it. They, it like some of the pottery barn, places yeah. like this, they sell it. It's kind of expensive for that antique look right. on a glass vase or on little votives. You can do it yourself. All right. That's so here's really what you cool. do. It's very, very cool. Yeah. And so it's a DIY mercury glass project. And the idea is you pick your, your glass, mason jar, vase, little votives, whatever the heck you want to use, right? You're going to get vinegar. And I know you love white vinegar. Boy, do I ever. You're going to get a spray bottle. You're going to get some Krylon glass spray. And that is the magical thing. And so the idea is by putting some water and vinegar first yeah. on the glass vessel, and then you spray it with this glass So it kind of paint. etches it enough to it hold it. It etches it, and it gives yeah. it that kind of antique little beady you know, That's kind of cool. And then what you do for the final step yeah. is that you would get um, a little piece of cloth, and then you just kind of rub it very gently. You don't want to go too heavy because it'll, it'll, it'll wipe streak it, it yeah. and wipe it off. Yeah, but yeah. isn't that cute and fun? And you can do that And that's an hour, too. Anything. So two hours so far. I'm, you're, you're giving me uh, fulfillment. the cactus thing, and you're giving me Life these mercury fulfillment. I just And I saved two you hours. probably thousands of dollars of, of self-fulfillment classes. Love it. You did it right here. <laughs> <laughs> Self-help. You don't need very it. You kind. got it right here on Home Whiskey. Thank you. <laughs> okay, here's another one. Okay. Speaking third, of, by, this is the third hour the third of your one. time to give to me. Go ahead. This is another one. Again, it, it yeah. requires using some of the glass things you already have. Yeah. Do you have some, maybe some salt and pepper shakers? I got nothing but salt. I got actually two, three of them. Three are, they gla- are they glass? Uh, one is. Okay. I feel like I'm in court. I'm a no. little nervous. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. The thing you're going to get at the arts and crafts store, it's called Armor Etch. Yeah. It's glass oh, etching cream. Oh, that I've seen. Cream. Yes, that's amazing stuff. So this is going, again, you can buy these things, but you don't need to. You can do it on your own and go, I don't need you, Pier 1 Imports. Who does? I did it myself. I don't want them. So here's, so you're going to go to the arts and craft store and get, it's in a little white plastic container and it has a purple label and it's called Armor Etch, okay. glass etching cream. And um, and then all you do is you create your design with some kind of a sticky that will basically save the glass from using this etching. So for instance, let's say you used um, some of those little stickies that have little dots on them. Yeah. Imagine putting little polka dots that are stickies that yeah. you can buy yeah. all over your glass, salt and shake, shaker, pepper, whatever. Sure. And now you're going to you know, apply this uh, this etching cream, and then what happens is it will etch only, only where- Only the exposed one. Yes. So you get the negative, like Easter eggs. Totally. So Man. again, the sky's the limit with design. You come up with your own stickers, and that's the idea is to put the sticker on the glass, and it will protect, you know, where, what you don't want etched. I see. Got it? That's very cool. And that is an hour. That's an hour. So I far, mean, three hours of your three time. Three great projects. Are you ready for another one? Yeah, why not? I think that- we aren't playing enough games at home. No, we're not. Old well, school I don't, games. I, well, I'm well, you, playing way too always, many. I got three play, kids under well, 15. But you're doing me? video games, probably. No. Hello. I'm doing other things. I'm painting stuff and oh, see. crafting. Are you doing deck of cards? No. Okay. So here's the thing. You're going to make your own custom playing cards. And all you do is you get 52 printed photos and some scrapbook adhesive, yeah. and you're going to uh, now apply that to an old deck of cards. You're going to p- apply maybe to Maybe you got some in Vegas. You got some deck of cards from Vegas, Vegas <laughs> that say, you know, whatever casino. No, we're going we're gonna to call it the Stromer cards. You can put fat, Listen, you know, I'm pictures trying to, of I'm Willow. trying to extinguish my memory of Vegas because I saw a guy with an oxygen c- canister oh, no. smoking oh, and no. playing slots. Oh, Other no. than that, it's great. Oh, Go no. ahead. <laughs> oh, geez. That's very sad. Yeah. Well, so you want to definitely lose that image on Thank your deck you. of cards. Uh, that's why I want to do and these cards. A cute picture of you and Willow on what? Yes. Father-daughter dance night. So cute. cute last as all last get week, out. I did it. It was cute. amazing. So you could have all those photos on your cards. Anyway, like, we're going to put cute. all these one-hour craft ideas, and the list goes on. Your home wizard. Eric Stormer, Cindy Dole, you're listening to Home Wizards.